Hello, welcome. Um, how are you? Good morning. It is it's like 8 a.m. here in Perth. So this is a very, well, not very early, but a morning stream. So how are we all? Capalicious, hello, Hippie Shake, Sherry Ive, Gold Coast Lady, Pants on the Ground. Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you for being here. And I thought today, um, I found all these old photos of Perth and it would probably be easier to go through them on a live um, just because <laughs> there's quite a few pictures. So we'll see how we go. Um, Ed Nankerville, Nank how are you going? Welcome, New West Reset. Shane Tawney, hello to everyone. And of course, it is the 30th. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve, and then we hit 2023. Somehow we got here from 2019. Um, so I don't know how that happened. <laughs> um, Isness, how are you going? Grand Rising. Cool hand puke, 11 a.m. in Melbourne. Yeah, I'm still behind the times here. So I am uh, moving across to New South Wales in the next month or so. So I'll be on a different time. Um, I'll be two hours different, which would be good because um, everyone who does stuff in the UK in the middle of the night will now be in my morning. Lady Lux, hello. So I hope you all have a um, a good New Year's Eve planned that doesn't in include going out and getting smashed. Um, hello, Halloween dude. And um, I am going to do a bit of a, a stream on New Year's Eve. Um, so I don't know how the times will work out, but it'll probably be New Year's Eve morning for America. But I have a couple of special guests so it's going to be a bit small we're just going to have sort of a small you know sort of four or five of us um chatting for a few hours so make sure you come and check that out and i've also got some um a live stream um hooked up well not a live stream a premiere um on giants four hours of giant videos for new year's day to recover by so there we go um hello charles wriston eyes wide shut Hello, Christine. Hello. <laughs> um, Jason Ventura, you're yeah, exactly right. Well, well, well. Three holes in the ground. Three fingers. How are you going? Welcome to, to join now. There you are. Hello. Rob Osborne. Aaron Cornwell. Hello. Sorry, Conwell. Hello, hello. Mike Andrew. All right, so we've got 80 of you looking, uh, looking, <laughs> looking at me, looking at your screens with me on it. Um, 80 of you w uh, watching, <laughs> giving me your time at the moment. So what I'll do is let's just jump in. Cause I've got two different sites. So we'll jump in and have a look at um, Perth. Some very old photos of Perth. And Perth is hard to find old pictures of. I mean, Australia in general is, um, they say everything got burnt in a fire that burnt down the uh, the Garden Palace in Sydney that was built for the World's Fair. And apparently everything, all the records were housed there and it burnt down, taking everything with it. Um, we have a few pictures here though. So this is, the links for these sites are in the description too. This is um, historical panoramas. That is one of Fremantle as well, but um, we'll do Perth today. We can always come back and do Fremantle. And this is one of these panoramas Oops, where they get all the photos and they stitch, uh, stitch them together. And look, construction photo. And as you can see, we've got these. Now, this, this is Perth in 1885. So this is about 50 years after... Um, you know, they, they brought a boat up the Swan River. And as you can see, we've got these huge oversized buildings sitting, you know, jutting out of the landscape already. Quite a bit of infrastructure. 
um, you know, not too built out, but we've got these big buildings everywhere. This is the uh, old, old Perth Jail. All right, so what we can do is click on these pictures and we get pictures. So this is Old Perth Jail because this is how you build jails, of course. Um, 1862. Now, I don't think, can I get that bigger? No, I can't. Uh, this is the railway station um, built in the mud, as you do. But what we can also do here is we can get different views. So we can click on this. And now we're looking out from Wellington. Look at this. Free taxi. From Bar Look at these, man. I wonder, are they electric? What do you reckon? Lots of taxis. And then up here, we have St. Mary's Cathedral. Um, I'll see if we can get a better picture of that. I've got um, another site that has more pictures. This is more of a panorama, just to sort of show you what's going on. Now, this is, how do I get rid of that? Um, oh, it's not going to move. Well, this is St. Mary's Cathedral here. And you'll see that's the one that we saw that, that looked like it was a construction photo, and it showed the roof. Now, this is uh, the Bishop's Palace or Cathedral House. Another huge, oversized, unnecessary building that they're building in Perth um, in the 1880s. This was all built by the 1880s. So this, I'm like, oh, even earlier, sorry. This is 1862. Okay, Perth um, was, uh, you know, declared a place in 1827. So, you know, 35 years we're talking and they've built all this up. Now, how do I get to a different shot? I don't know. I'm getting stuck. <laughs> how do I go back? Back. There we go. Um, just go back again. All right. So now this is Perth. If you haven't been here, this is the, the Swan River. This is now where Perth City is. And there is now a bridge across... Um, they've actually reclaimed a lot of this land and filled it in, and there's sort of a bridge across there now. This is Kings Park, the old brewery. And there is, I can't see them, this is a windmill. This windmill, random windmill in Perth that's been sitting down there. So let's have a look at the Esplanade. All right, so this is Perth. Okay, so this is a bit later, 1928. And look at this, we're just looking at a completely built out city and oh we can zoom look at this you know the same stuff right these towers and these conical roofs you know the rapunzel towers old world architecture just tons of it and this is uh, about a hundred years after perth was settled so you know a hundred years is a bit of time all built out we have this now this is no longer there I don't know what that was. Boat houses and there used to be baths in Perth, but I can't see them. I'm going to have to do a timeline. It's very, you know, there's just such a disjunct in, in the photos, you know, that you see. It's it's actually kind of hard to, to work out what's going on. Now, up here, this is, we'll have some looks from Kings Park, but this um, the pensioner barracks, this, this is what they're calling it. Uh, this is the Starfort Citadel, quite obviously, right? <laughs> Looks like every other one that we find. Now I'll see. Um, okay, we'll go up there. Um, and here you go, right? This is what it was. Now, I haven't found anything that shows a wall around this, but this is exactly what we see. Um, you know, everywhere in, in Starfort Citadels, all over the realm. There are all these red brick buildings. You go on the inside, they're all arched. You know, they're all built the same way. And, of course, they all get taken over and turned into barracks. And then we have all got a random orphan here. And, of course, um, the enforcers, right? <laughs> and our man in the hat, making sure everyone's doing well they're told but yeah so this was in Perth now what they did 
is they knocked this down to build a freeway and they left just this little front bit here, this doorway. Uh, it's called Barracks Arch now. And we have Barracks Street. So, yeah, the barracks were there, but um, again, they just destroyed it, destroyed it for a freeway, which they love to do. Uh, so let's see, we'll get a view from Kings Park. And of course, Kings Park, we've got a Queen's Park as well. You know, there's all this stuff to do with the Royals. Now, look at this. What's going on here? Are they building or is that like something they've found? Because, I mean, there could be foundations under the walls, I guess. No, no floor in there, but uh, probably building maybe. Doesn't look too too much like rubble. Uh, but here we have like this is again right. So we have this wooden fence, wooden pickets. You know, it is cut, you know. So there's been a bit of you know machining going on in there. But this is the structures they're building, right? Just corrugated iron and bits of wood. Now this, of course, that they're building this as well by the looks of it. This is just. Um, looks like you know rough stone that they've found that they're um cementing together but again see this why is that behind the fence i don't know looks wooden but you see all these you know this dish like this road and then it just stops and goes to sand right <laughs> oh, sorry the road just stops um and then all these big buildings in the background brick and masonry but not even the not even the roads are done here you can see they've sort of cleared out a bit and the rest has been pushed aside. And they've built all this stuff, apparently. Uh, this is the old Perth Observatory. Now, this, of course, is gone as well. Uh, but here you go. We have one of these as well. Now, these buildings you see everywhere. And that's quite a good shot. So this is Kings Park. So unfortunately, we can't see the, the staff or it would just be out of range here. Um, let's go have a look at the view. Okay, a view from the old Perth Observatory. Now, here we have a dummy <laughs> with a little fence to it. Just a random dummy. All right, again, these wooden fences with chicken wire and stuff. And you know, it's just this. Oh, we've got horses here. Some veggies. And the rest is just, you know, washed over. It looks like they've got a bit of a road happening here. This is Parliament House in Perth. Now, this is actually, so we must be pretty close. Is What's that? Is that the barracks? Okay, why there's only half a building? I don't know. Maybe they knocked half down first. This is 1905. So it looks like they've taken this down in sections. And Parliament House, you can see how close it was to this Starfort Citadel. And it's an old big building. So I think there's a lot up here in Kings Park that's been buried in Perth. Uh, this is 1929 Parliament House built on dirt roads. I mean, let's smooth that out a bit. Not, not quite level, though, is it? All right. What else can we see here? Let's go have a look. Okay, so this picture here is interesting. So this is, uh, as you can see, it says a cycloramic illustration of Perth, Western Australia, 1892. Mm -hmm. And check this out for a panorama. Now, it does show all the buildings like Ray, railway hotel um residents of mr collins see all the, all the big wigs have gone and, and claimed their houses mcdonald the national bank strong brewery of course wow look at that wow i haven't seen a picture with this big column here before that's pretty cool even this that's gone we still have the main structure here and in this picture, there's a lot of land out the front of it that's not there anymore. So I wonder what. Because so, it just it looks different. In you know Perth, it sort of has this bit that 
goes in and then it comes out and, and of course this is a straight line now this is you know it's drawn in a certain way i guess to show all the buildings but it's a very interesting drawing and it's like i said before this these whole all these pictures they don't seem to be in the right timeline um there's a big mansion up here on the hill that's no i've never heard of that and it's definitely no longer there housing down the bottom that's actually we know we do have a couple of buildings left there um they turned them into a car park of course looks like there was a, a road up here uh, we now have jacob's ladder we've got farms you know cathedrals again this is 1892 so look you know it's very built out with very big buildings you know big three-story buildings down here look at these these are all what at least sort of four-story buildings right look like apartment blocks look at them all and, and so this is 1892, but this, and this is a drawing with this, again, looks more built out than some of the photos that we see um, that are around the same time. So I don't know, you know, it's, it's very hard trying to reconstruct history, especially when it's his story, right? Um, again, more towers. This is, oh, town hall. Look at the size of this tower. Airship, airport, maybe another tower here cathedral so completely built out and the same thing you know just what what we call tartarian architecture everywhere there's another one and just completely built out in 1892 and everyone you know cruising around on the river right we've got paddle steamers here we've got big sail ships and basically you know, more paddle steamers um we don't there's, there's no commercial boats um, going up the Swan River at all anymore. That They all stop at Fremantle and don't come up any further. You know, there's wine cruises and a few little ferries and that, but definitely nothing like this. And you can see they had all their jetties and stuff. That's all gone. And again, uh, this may be the baths. I'm not sure. It doesn't really look the same, but I'll see if I can find a picture of the Perth baths because that's another, you know... A, yeah, it doesn't seem to fit. Let's see if we can see it from the Esplanade. No. And again, so this is a bit later, but look how built out this place is. Just completely done. All right, so where are we at? It's South Perth. So this is the other side of the river. And so this is... Okay. Oh, 1868. So this is quite old. As you can see, different, you know, not as built up as that last one we saw, right? So there's definitely a change in these photos. This, are they windows? Because that looks pretty mud flooded. Um, the jetties aren't there. That's kind of one, almost looks more like land. So it's, it's so hard to work out what is going on in these photos. It really is. Um, I think the dates, you know, the dates just don't seem to make sense. They don't seem to make a proper chronological timeline. Wellington Square, we've been there. Uh, we're just trying to find a picture of um, St. Mary's. Oh, this is, look at this big, nice building, Perth Cultural. This is in the 60s, 67. Don't know where all the hippies are. They should be there, shouldn't they? Um, but, you know, look at this building. Like this, It's just the same stuff we see everywhere. These shapes we see on all the, like, warehouses on the roofs. Good for ventilation, of course. Uh, mud flood windows going into the ground. Same down here. And just these huge red brick buildings. As you can see, it's just red brick as far as the eye can see. Perth in the 60s. Um, now, where is St. Mary's? Oh, it's not going to let us have a look. So, uh, come on. Maybe if we go here, we'll see it. No. <laughs> All right, I've got Pete. Um, but basically, you, you, there's a, you can see the... Um, is this it? Yeah, here we go. So, this is St. Mary's Cathedral. Uh, oh, no, this is St. George's. So, we've actually got two. 
that are almost built on top of each other. And as you can see, look, there's another church here. There's one here. There's like this whole group. Um, but yeah, this is, you know, construction, right? They're going to tell us. But this is what we see everywhere is this is a finished building. All they're doing is the roof. Like we see this so often that you get these buildings, they're called construction photos, but all they're doing is re-roofing them. And is that because, you know, the roof's got ripped off? Because um, we see all these photos as well, mainly from the US, you know, the Civil War type photos, and uh, most of the buildings have no roofs on them. So did something happen to blow all the roofs off? And, they're, and you know, that's what the construction photos are, right? They're just re-roofing. I mean, because you can see... What are they using here? Just, just bits of wood for their, their scaffolding, maybe. No, no workers there, but no machinery, no tech, no, no crane type thing to lift the wood up. A bit of wood on the ground there. Just, you know, it doesn't make a lot of sense. This building, are they, oh, that. No, I don't think that's there anymore, unless it's the town hall. So, um, there we go. These, these are. Uh, Shots of Perth going back to the 1800s, again, 1885 back here. And we can see we've got the brewery, right? The Swan Brewery, of course, owned by Alan Bond in the 1980s. Um, is that, that looks like a bridge. Oh, it's so hard to work all this stuff out. Oh, go away. What are you doing there? So we'll see if we can see the brewery from here. Oh, here we go. The Escarpment of Kings Park. Now, again, look at this. I know it's shoreline, but just all washed out. A couple of boats here. Aha, uh -huh, there's the barracks. So that's the star fort. It's not the best sort of picture, but you can see that there's a pretty big construction up there. Uh, this is a house. Um, what's it going to give us as a picture? Probably. Oh, there, there. We've got one more. So there we go. And of course, that, that's not taught about or talked about in Perth. But here, so um, eight, uh, so 1913. And look, now it's almost all built out. We've got wharfs and docks and things down here. The bar uh, is that. The bath, no Perth Esplanade. Maybe that is the baths. No, no, I don't think so. Anyway, there we go. So I'll let the link for this is below. You can, um, you know, it's a little bit hard to navigate, but um, yeah, go check it out. There's some pretty cool old photos of Perth there. So I shall stop sharing. I've still got another page to have a look at. Oh, wow, 222 of you watching me. Thank you for joining me. Hope you're having a fantastic New Year's Eve Eve, wherever you are. Um, you might, it might be New Year's Eve Eve Eve. It's the, th the 30th here in Perth. It is 8.24 a.m. All right. Jolly man, how are you going? Welcome. Oh, never seen it as hell either. Wonder what sirens taste like. Oh, do you mean the ones like the women that live in the ocean and sing songs to you? Cities on top of cities, yep. Yeah. Chop, chop. That's, that's you know, it's like that saying, right? Um, building up on the shoulders of giants. Like, literally, that's our cities, man. We're building um, on the shoulders of giant, you know, ruins. Shauna, how are you going? Welcome. Peter Aitken, Hello. I've led like picture before they blew up the reef at the mouth of the swan. Oh, nice. Cool. Now, I have heard as well, and I need to look into it, but I've heard um, that the Swan River used it was fresh water when they got here, and that's why it's called the Swan River, because it was covered in swans. And, of course, we have black swans down here in Perth. Um, and that was because there was a natural limestone wall um, out in Fremantle, and I heard that they knocked it down to turn Fremantle into a port, and that basically turned the, the water salt. And, my, and you know, you get a couple of swans every now and again on the Swan River, but not really. So I need to look into that. I'm not sure if that's true. Um, a bit of side hand information. Call him puke. Swan is like chicken, but with a touch of 
taboo. <laughs> It's, it's all the nursery rhymes, man. Like, you know, the, what is it? The, the swan and the, the ugly duckling, that one. Um, oh, okay. Let's make that one. Um, New West Reach, Reset. How are you going? Capalicious. Yes, everyone, give me a like. Give me a subscribe if you haven't already. A comment. Kim Ray, hello. Mr. Anonymous. All right. Welcome. Kimmy. Kimmy, look at me. Kimmy, um, who we've got here, Old Sum Beach, where is Perth? Perth, Perth is in Western Australia. It is the most isolated city in the world. Um, yeah, Australia, man, in the outer ring. Uh, da, 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 gold for prayers, hello. 6.24 p.m. Missouri, so it must be the 29th, so... Like I said, we're going to do a stream on New Year's Eve, Perth time. We're going to do it at night. So hopefully it'll be New Year's Eve for everyone because I live in the future. Um, only God can declare holiday. Yeah, holy. Exactly right. Um, holy day. New Year's isn't a holy day. No, it's not a holy day. But then again, neither is the 25th, the, the whole Christmas thing. And this is the reason why there's so many... You know, all different, um, you know, cultures and, and theosophies all have something around Christmas time, right? It's because Christmas is um, the solstice. That's all. It's all to do with the stars. All to do with the stars. But, yes, they are holy days, not holiday. You know, they've just changed their holiday. And, of course, you know, that's like the holy tree. So it's turned into a spell. Yes, Perth is in Western Australia. Um it's 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 a it's a good city. It's nice, but it's it's very um. It's a, it's an echo box, right? It's much of it's very much an echo chamber over here. Thank you, Aurora. Thank you for being here. Tinky Tink, hello. Um, the previous city owns it still. Oh, I don't know what that means. Hippie Shake, yes, Hippie Shake is here again. Welcome. Oh my God, I'm so far behind on comments. Um, <laughs> it's got a, a holy day for the hell of it. Yeah, but not. I mean, and and you know, what does holy day mean, right? I mean, really, should there should probably be a W in front of that holy, right? It's more more about making ourselves whole. But they they think that you know, which is an internal thing, but they want us to focus on what's outside of us, and that that you need something outside of you to complete you, which I do not concur with. I do not concur. So let's go and have a look at my second um, page of old photos. Again, this one is in the links below. And this is uh, Old Perth, 1800 to 2022, oldperth.org. And this is, now there's a Quite a few cities have these maps. They're pretty cool. And what it is, is each one of these dots is a photo. So we can go and click on one of these and we will get something. Well, actually, we'll get lots of photos pop up. So we'll click here. And this is Peace Day 1919. So this must be obviously after World War One. Wow. What's in the background? Is that... I'll make that bigger. Sorry. I think I just... Me, I'm looking at this. That looks like King's Park. It may not be though. Um, so yeah, this is a bit of a random sort of um, thing. You've got to hopefully get the right photos. So, okay, as you see, when we click on some of them, we get quite a few photos. Let me check out this. Oh, it's not going to bring it up. No. Oh well. It's worth a try. I thought that might be the um the staff one in the background of that last photo. Okay, so we have all these photos, right? 1868. Got a jetty here. Um, some houses in the mud. Look at all this. Mud trees ripped over. Unfortunately, this is as big as uh, the photos get. What's this view complete? Oh. Let's hit that and see what happens. Maybe we'll get bigger photos. 
Ah, here we go. That's better. So here we go. Like built right on the now wooden building, brick chimney. You see this all the time. Brick chimneys, wooden buildings. Look at these boat houses built right down into the water, made of wood, of course. And this bank just looks like it's been chopped up, doesn't it? So there you go. That's um the view from the Barrack Street jetty, looking a bit bit worse for wear. Um, all right, so we've got some boats here. And here we go, swans on the Swan River. And you've got boats for hire down in 1906. And this all looks, you know, wood pretty much. Wooden construction, doesn't it? Um, here we have some people having a fight on the one thing. I don't know. Do you reckon they're fighting to try and push each other in the water? That's the Lifesavers, 1911. So there's some pretty cool picks in here if you go through them all. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? This dude's looking very cool. 1926, um, Steam Ferry. So we'll see what else is in here. What's this one? Oh, tram. Okay, look at that. So Perth, um, last day of trams, 1958. So we had trams, we had the whole system in, and they just ripped it all out. For what purpose? And this, of course, happened in every city across the realm. They all had tram systems, and, you know, 95% of them got ripped out, um, all to do with oil and, you know, those rocky fellows that we hear about. What's this? Let's have a look. It's Like I said, it's a bit of hit and miss in this one. Um, you just got to see the photos that are there. 1919, Whites. There you go, 1925. Again, look at the internal architecture. This is what we see all across the realm. And um, a typical Perth building looks exactly like a typical, you know, any other building in the realm. Let's see what we can find. Now, if we go into the city here, the Esplanade. Oh, we've already seen that one. Oh, whoops. That was not good. Ah. Ah, all right, what's this? The Esplanade again. And so, as you can see, there's tons of cool pics. This is 1927. All right, we're going to have to try and see that one in, in a bigger image, I think. All right, um, Temple Court Buildings, William Street. Look at this. Is that on oh, no, us? The tree it looked like it was half smashed. Okay, so I mean, these looking a bit old and grotty, really, aren't they? For brand new, what's this? 1927. This looks like it's you know sort of sunk in the ground a bit, right? Again, the wooden picket fences, nothing leveled. And everything is red brick. I mean, and look at these buildings. All with their spires and stuff on the top, their bell towers, belfries. And, you know, they're all big. Like, this is, looks like we can actually see the foundation on that one. You know, that would be a three-storey building, you know, because we know that the levels are sort of 15 foot, 20 foot inside. So these are all good-sized buildings. Horse bell towers, got our cars. Thank you, Mr. Henry Ford. And the same thing just up the street, just built out. That's a pretty interesting shot. A lot of cars. All right. Oh, what's this? Temple Court Cabaret. Decorated for a ball. Wow, man, look at that for a, an internal room. No, the internals of a room. That's pretty cool. See, and, um, you know, I'm from Perth, right? I've been here for most of my life, and we don't get taught any of this stuff. Just like everyone with the cities you grow up in, you don't get taught your local history at all. Um, 
Cathedral Ave. Let's have a look what's on Cathedral Avenue. I'm, I'm thinking there's a cathedral there. All right, so this has some pretty cool. What's this one? Look at, oh my gosh, are they power lines? Um, let me get rid of these. Oh, oh, show me. No, doesn't want to show us that one. Barrack Street. Look at all the lines. That's why I'm just trying to see all these power lines. Because uh, we have these, you know, these, you know, old old world power line <laughs> pole things um, everywhere. And, you know, they when we first see them, they've got no wires on them. And then they all get wired up. And look at this. It's, the amount of wires there is pretty intense. Uh, 1889. Okay, we've got a construction photo. Let's have a look at this. Construction. Okay. Um, the workers have gone home. We've got wooden gates here and just, you know, pretty rough wooden fence. Um, and then on the inside, we've got this massive old world building, which is finished, by the way. Look at that. It's got all the facade and stuff done on it. So I don't know what they're constructing down here with his scaffolding, unless they're trying to say that uh, putting the facading on, I don't know. But um, again, this looks like it's just made out of branches. The scaffolding, so not even machined. It doesn't look metal. You can see they're not quite straight. And yeah, this is what they, the tools they use to build buildings like this. In Perth, as you can see, it's the, it's it's all built out like, down the whole street, the whole thing. So this is uh, 1889, 1889 in Perth. Okay, 1890, the next year. Now this is um, the proclamation of responsible government. Well, God, they got that one wrong, didn't they? Um, but the, here we have an an arch uh, i'll see if we can get a bigger picture no that's my show up, sorry uh, but we get lots of these in australia and they they you know around 1900 the the king and queen visited australia so they all got turned into these um you know memorial arches and done up as arches for the king's visit you know and then they're all knocked over so were they you know repurposed or were they actually built uh, Perth General Post Office uh, in what became the Treasury Building. So there you go. That's still there. 1895. So the General Post Office, 1895, Perth needed a post office that was this big and this grand. I mean, you can see here the size of the people, right? Not, <laughs> and that's one story. All right, so you can see how tall this is. And these are 20 foot levels, right? Because that's what you need in a brand new, you know, city, brand new colony when you don't have any resources, you don't know where the, the clay pits are and where to get all the silica. Well, maybe in Perth, there's lots of sand. Um, but you know, the iron ore, all these things you need to build a building, lime, um, supposedly they didn't know where any of that was. Yeah, they've built this, and this is, you know, 60-ish years after they just turned up to a barren land, apparently. And, of course, these windows are a bit of a giveaway because see how they're directly under, and, you know, these, directly under these. You can see two, two, two. But, of course, these are a bit smaller. These are exactly the same. So logic would tell us that this used to be the same size as this down into the ground. All right, what else can we find here? Uh, this looks, uh, here you go, yeah, decorated for the Queen, uh, Queen Victoria's Jubilee. So this is when the royals came to town. Let's see if there's a good image to pop up. Okay, so that one's got uh, the power pole. See, with no wires. 
or are they wires? Maybe there's a few. Okay, maybe there's a couple, couple of thin wires, but nothing like that last photo we saw, right? Where, you know, there's just wires everywhere. So what's going on with these? Um, of course, oh well, building. Now this is Perth, Western Australia, where it gets very hot. And this is another thing we, we question all the time: is the clothing. Now these people out there in hats, these thick dresses, you know, multiple layers. And like I said, Perth is very hot. Like it gets really hot here. Um, doesn't look like it's winter. You know, I mean, even winter is you know twenty five degrees Celsius is a normal sort of day. So the fashion doesn't fit either. And of course, we're again, the same thing, right? Got these windows on top and they go down and this one's clearly been cut off and filled in. Um, you know, dirt roads by the looks of it. You know, not too rough. Um, and then we have these buildings. Old world as. And oversized. All right, so we have a look, see if we can see this one. See what Queenie Poo was doing. No, they don't want to show us Queenie Poo. Okay, good. <laughs> um, all right, let's have a look. What have we got out here? Queen Street. Should we go look at Queen Street? See, everything's Queen. And in Australia, you know, we've got Queensland. We've got Victoria, named after Queen Victoria. Um, and apart from that, it's really just West Australia, South Australia. But all, all about the royals, unfortunately. They got the, their hooks in uh, Hay Street. So like I said, this is hit and miss. You've got to sort of click on the dots and see what comes up. Um, now, like I said, I will leave. Oh, here's a good one. Um, I'll, the links for this are in the description. Okay, another construction photo here. 1868, Perth Town Hall under construction. And what do we get here? But the exact same thing we saw earlier with the cathedral. Okay, and we see this everywhere. This is a completed building. Now, even up to the top of the pitch on this for the roof, there's just no roof on it. All right, you can see they're rebuilding the roof here. Again, this scaffolding is just, you know, it's not steel, it's just, look, oh, it's just literally branches. You can see branches tied together. Okay, so this is the level of their tech. Right, they're just strapping bits of wood together to make their scaffolding. But apparently they've built this building. But again, it's finished. They're just re-roofing it. They're just putting a roof on it. And, and, you know, we just don't get many construction photos with people actually working for some reason, do we? It's a bit strange, but... Okay, so this is another one, Perth Town Hall under construction so we do have construction photos oh my god <laughs> look at this thing what is that you know in perth right oops what have i done um wow that's huge you can see you know compared to these houses right how it's a bit in the foreground but you can see it's a big big building and here we have perth town hall and can't see the roof line that we were looking at before so i'm not sure what's over the back there but again this is pretty much completed it just needs a roof and where are all the workers who's laying all these bricks so that's an interesting shot but this is the thing you know we get this in the background like i said the the scaffolding is just literally branches it's not even machined it you know you can see right? they're just wiggly and then we get wooden fences. But all the buildings are made of brick. You know, the, there's a problem with the tech, you know, the level of tech they've got. This is it again, Perth Town Hall under construction. Oh, it's pretty similar. Okay, so this is, okay, where was this one? So we see we've got this one with the tower on it. And was it this one? No, this one. This one, there's no tower. So this is 1868, and this is 68, 28th of October, uh, March. Okay, so this is about five months before the other one. So 
that's an interesting picture. Is that the big one? Where am I? Where am I? Yeah, let's see if we can get a bigger one of this. All right, we may have construction. What do you reckon? I mean, why do they? Why would they have cut this photo like that for starters? Looks like, is that a worker? It's hard to see, but it looks like, you know, it looks like they might be building. What is this, though? Can you see this fuzzy bit? Oh, gosh, it's not high definition enough, really. But can you see this bit here? Right, something's been rubbed out there. See how this is a lot crisper and even underneath it? There's, I don't know, what is that? And even across here, I don't know, there's something. I would need a high definition, but yeah, I don't know that. There's just a few weird things in this photo, right? Like these stripes of light that follow the the bar. I don't know what that is. That could just be, you know, um, when they're developing it. But what's that? that looks like something's been, I don't know what that is. That's interesting. Have to look into that more, see if I can find the high def of this image. And of course, again, you know, just wooden fencing around the bottom. So is that a, an actual construction photo? Here we have another one. Um, Town Hall, 1868, same year, under construction. And okay, so <laughs> now this is kind of another good one, right? Because they're showing us the level of tech they've got, right? Wooden wheelbarrow, hand pick, hand shovel, and he's just out there digging with his hands into the ground. Now, if that's how they're digging, imagine the foundations you'd need on a building like this. All right, this is a house next to it. This is a big building, what, all dug with hand? You know, so this is the disjunct we get. Um, and this looks, is this cement? This looks like cement coming out. And then they've done that first knot of the road, big. I mean, what's that? Is that remnants of something? A bit of a wall in the road or something? But this is the thing. Right? These are the people with this level of tech that built all these buildings. That's what they want us to believe. So this is, you know, one of the major problems I have with his story, uh, this is the same as we saw before, I think, except now we've got people looking, going, yep, we built that. And so this is a, um, yeah, stereographic one. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so there must be a book around with stereographic pictures of Perth, 1868, which would be interesting to get. Let's see what we've got here. Mulberry trees. Oh, they're gone. Again, we have construction in the background, right? But this one is just a roof. By the looks of it. Um, that one and this one. So again, eight, 186. So this is the stereophonic one of what we saw before. I'll see if I can find that book. That'd be interesting to look at. And then uh, we've seen, okay, so these are all the stereo. Okay. I wanted to download the stereophonic. So these are the ones where you you look at the middle line and you go slightly cross-eyed and you get a 3D view. Um, it turns into a 3D picture. Pretty cool. Again, more construction. Um, Perth Town Hall again. So kind of the same thing, right? Building the roof. Now this is that tower. So did they build that tower? It does look like it's going up a bit. This time it looks like they have actually got a crane on the top there as well. So I have to do a bit of a deep dive on the town hall because we've actually got construction photos, which you don't come across very often. Earth town hall, this is it when it's finished. So you can see this whole big tower. Um, yeah, this is what they're saying they were building. Um, okay, what's going on there? <laughs> um, 
Okay, let me just open these pictures because that tower looks to be a bit big. All right, look at this. So this is the tower. It's hard to see how high it goes. All right, as you can see sort of how big that is. And then if we come to... Um, oh, come on, give me the photo. Give me, give me, give me. Hmm. Okay, so see how tall this is? And then we've got this big square bit here for the clock face and this bit here. Is that as, I mean, it's fun, It's a funny angle. It's hard to sort of see, but it doesn't look as tall to me as, it, as that does. What do you reckon? Um, I need another photo. Again, see? See how that looks? And this time you can see that the clock in there but it looks, it might just be the angle, right? It looks a lot shorter. Who knows? Maybe I'm just being picky. Here's um, Citizen's Arch, right? So these archways, uh, they were all across Australia and they all got knocked over around the turn of the century. So this is 1901. This is that tower again. There you go. I have to look into that. Um, and these, yeah, these arches, they were everywhere. You can see we've got tram lines, tram tracks in the ground, 1901. Uh, and just lots of pictures of, of, of the tower, basically. And the king and queen came to visit. So this has got some pretty cool pics. But, yeah, a um, few questions about that tower and, and what they actually rebuilt. So I'll have to check that out. Now, look at the amount of wires across in the sky now, right? This is one of these oops, power poles. And it's just completely covered in these electrical wires. But... Um, as we saw in an earlier photo, the earlier photos, the poles are there, but the, the wires aren't. It's like it's wireless electricity. But, you know, it's very hard to find all these facts out, right? They don't really give us access to the records. I mean, just look at the size of this building, though. Uh, this is a two-story building next door. 1870. See this? Well, you can see the windows at the bottom. This is a two-story building. Look at the size of this. So the two stories literally is pretty much on line with one story of this, the bottom story. Why would you build it so big? Dirt roads and these massive buildings everywhere. So there you go, it's very interesting. Um, should we pick another one? And I think you can probably, yeah, right, go down to Fremantle. Should we do a, a cheeky Fremantle one? No, oh, that's not very interesting. Let's see. I'll have to do Fremantle another day. See what we can find. But, yeah, we've got, you know, if, if you're in Perth especially, go check this out. This is Bassendine. It's an old suburb. Um, I guess Midlands up here somewhere. Dianella, right. Um, this is the Swan River, so we can let's have a look what was happening on the water. Ooh, okay. So this is the first Causeway Bridge, eighteen sixty-two. Now that bridge, okay. Ah, man, God, all this research I've been given. <laughs> that that. That bridge was not in a lot of the pictures that we looked at from this site, right? Here we go, right? This is 1913. Where's the bridge? All right, 1913, 1862. Now, this bridge, the causeway, um, oh, actually, no, that could be the other bridge. Okay, I could be wrong. The course, sorry. This is the narrows and the causeway is up there. So I may have stuffed that up. <laughs> Um, and that's another stereophonic like 3D image. So I haven't got, we'll have to, I'm going to have to check if that was in the photos, you know, because we get the photos on this side. So if we sort of go up to the Esplanade, we won't see anything. If we can get a view, you know, of down here, then we can see, see it's a bit hard to, yeah, get the right 
image in this one. I mean, it's basically saying the bridge, is that it there? It's hard to see, isn't it? It could be there in 1913. So this is the thing, is trying to, you know, match all these pictures up with each other. Um, here's a dude on his Harley. Norman Cumming Cunningham breaking the Perth to Sydney motorcycle record. Motorcycle? Motorcycle. Gosh, I learned to speak soon. All right. So what's this? Kings Park? 1900. Nice. It's one of the first things you do when you build a new city is to build lots of parks. I just want to see if we can get the brewery. Now, the Swan Brewery is one of the big old buildings in Perth here. Okay, so this, this looks like when they were redoing it all, 1978. So, yeah, these buildings are still here. And, you know, this same roof design, right? See it everywhere. And this is 1899. So there's a brewery there. So it's pretty much the breweries in all the photos. Always been there. Because, of course, you need a brewery. And you're about, you know, when you're building a new city.
Okay. okay, sorry. There's been no sound. How long has there been no sound for? Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Jared, for letting me know. Um, I don't know what happened. I just came back and my mute button had been pressed. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. This happened last time to me. I really need to get a good setup, don't I? Um, thank you for not all leaving. 242 of you watching. Oh, my God. that's I was, I was saying some good stuff then, too. Um, at least you all got to hear the, the I'll see the pictures. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Like, my mute button was pressed on my in my software and I did not do it. So um, I'm very, very, very sorry about that. And thank you all for sticking around. Oh my gosh. And thanks Sharon for harassing me. Um, all right. Do you want to have another look with, with some sound? Should, should we try this again? Oh my God. Ah, see, I, I need a, a producer or something. Um, so yes, obelisks and things. God, that's just so embarrassing. What I was saying is I'm trying to find a photo of that star fort, that citadel that's up on the hill or was. Oh, is that it there? No, that's not it. As you can see, old world buildings. Um, it's an old pick. 1890. So here you go, 1894 again completely built out. I'm going to get rid of some of these pics. Ah, sorry about the no sound, guys. I, 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 I <laughs> God, I'm trying to be a professional. Um, 1894. And Perth is pretty much completely built out. And this bit of land, see, this is the Espinar. They must have reclaimed. I know they reclaimed a lot in here when they put the, the Nauru's Bridge in, but I didn't know they'd claimed that much up there. So, um, you know, they've definitely changed whoops, the shoreline of Perth. What's this? Mount Eliza Reservoir. Well, there you go. I didn't... Mount Eliza. All right. Um, what else can we see here? Valadura Place. This must be a new picture, is it? No. This is getting, I, I don't even know, like this is, that's clearly not there anymore. See, all, all these buildings that have been knocked over that I never got told about. William Street Jetty. Okay, I did have some good photos before. But of course, we had no sound, um, which was not good. Now, how are we going for time? I should check that in a minute. Nine o'clock. All right, we've been going for an hour. Um, what's this? Construction. And of course, over here, this is pretty much where that, yeah. So this is the freeway they put in that they knocked the, the star fort over for. So what, what do we see here? Um, Mount Street, so that's going up to King's Park. And they just don't want to show me the Star Fort. A windy day in Perth in 1900. Okay, we'll try one more. Perth for sure. No, no Star Fort. So, but yeah, there's definitely, a you know, Barrack Street. We have, uh, where is it? Murray Street. Street, Wellington, Barrack Street. Where's Barrack Street? Oh my God, it's gone. We have a Barrack Street um, that goes up to the barracks. That must be Parliament House, I'm guessing. Havelock Street. Havelock Street. Havelock. It's an interesting name, isn't it? Like a lock is in a canal lock. Is that what they're trying to tell us? And this should be Parliament House. So this is it back in 1920. So, like I said, the links for these uh, two sites are in the description. So go and check them out. Tons of photos, but it is a bit of hit and miss. 
um because they're basically photos from um 18 what did it say 1860s to today and something in the background there don't know what it is doesn't want to show us so yeah um interactive map of perth and i i've got i know there's definitely a good one of new york the same kind of thing um and so i'm guessing there's going to be tons of these kind of um maps all over the place and like i said if you want to hit the right spot you can get some really cool old photos the first land ballot held by the rni bank well, there you go that's when land was cheap in perth when i got to perth you could buy a house here for like five thousand dollars now you can't get anything for like under i don't know <laughs> 300,000, 400,000. Adelaide Hills. So there you go, guys. Um, old photos of Perth. I could kind of sit here clicking all day, um, but there's literally hundreds and hundreds of pictures in here. Um, we've got a few down the side here. Like the demolition of the Central Arcade. They love to destroy. In 1922, right? So they've moved in. They've built this city up. And by, you know, less than 100 years, they're starting to knock it over again, apparently. But they are collecting the bricks, aren't they? You know, so is this just repurposing? Because this is, it's not really demolition, is it? They're taking that down and they're getting all these bricks out. Look, we've got the horses waiting to take them away. Um, the, the, look at this side of this building. That looks a bit, a bit weird, right? bit old see how it's really really black sort of in there maybe they haven't cleaned it up yet but yeah look at the horses stacked up bricks what have we got in here strapping metal i mean that's a lot of rubble i mean it almost looks like they found it like that doesn't it? i mean why would you knock a house over into piles and then go through the piles to get the bricks out wouldn't you just take it down brick by brick and stack them up that's a bit weird and look at this roof that's cool that's how they build them yeah right well those little extra roof things we see around but yeah why would you be knocking stuff over you know within a hundred years of building it it doesn't make a lot of sense Especially, you know, in Australia, right, Perth, it's not like they were fighting for land. And this, General Post Office, you know, look at the, look at the size of this. These are people. Look at the size of this level. And actually, this is really the level, right? I mean, what are we talking here? One, two, three, six people high, more. You know, it's a 36, 40 foot ceiling. Columns, why? And look, it does, you know, it looks a little bit old and worn, doesn't it? Ah, so there we go. Isn't it much more fun with sound? What do you reckon? Newly built forest place, general post office. People walking about. So lots and lots and lots of old pictures and new pictures. You know, there's pictures from the 60s and 70s, 1982 even. You know, Perth, when it was still a big country town. Oh, so that was obviously a good one. And you can see some of the uh, uh, darker blue, some of the, the, the dots. So maybe they're better. Let's see. We've got Scarborough. Yanchep. I wonder what's going on in Yanchep. Karabuda. Yanchep's way up on the beach. Oh, okay. So just people sitting out in the bush. That's what you'd be doing in Yanchep. And this is Rottenest Island. And of course, uh, 1936. Look at this again. This is on an island. Old world red brick construction. And of course, they this became a jail. Um, and then it became a barracks. Uh, for the for the wars, right? Because Australia was so close to all the wars, the world wars and stuff. 
So there you go. Lots of interesting shots. You know, even Bustle 20, you know, if you're from WA, like all these old 1932. So tons and tons and tons of photos in here. Oh, my gosh, look at this. It's all of WA, so no doubt there's going to be ones for the other states as well. And probably for, you know, whatever city you're living in. Is that Kalgoorlie? Northern. Is that Kalgoorlie? Meriden, my God. Kalgoorlie is pretty far out. Coolgardie. Kalgoorlie. So this is Kalgoorlie. Again, this is in the middle of the desert. And the same stuff, right? Spires, domes, all the same buildings. And this is apparently where they walked to from Perth, pushing a wheelbarrow so they could go and dig up gold. Um, but again, wrecking places in the 1920s. But so this this is the story of of Perth, right? This, this is where the gold was. And p people literally, they're saying they walked. Now, there's no water out here. This is desert. You know, so the whole you know, gold mining story is very strange as well. So there you go. Like I said, I could be sitting here clicking forever. Um, oh, wow. Oh, okay. That's Ascot, I guess. Um, so there you go. I'll come back and have a chat. Now that you can hear me, so sorry about that. Oh, my God. Ten minutes without sound. I'm really, I don't know what happened there. I did not push any buttons, but it muted. So I do need to get a better setup. How is my sound? Because I know that on a couple of the videos, it's been sounding a bit weird. And I do have like a headset, with which I need to work out how to plug in. Because you can't just plug headsets in anymore. It's all it's all very um, interesting. Um, yes, we've been very lied to. Maybe Noah's flood is a regular... Well, I think, you know, resets or cataclysms um, are, are regular. You know, it doesn't mean that they're world, you know, worldwide every time. Um, it doesn't mean that they're water every time. We get told in the uh, the Vedic, you know, scriptures, the six worlds and everything, um, that each world is wiped out by something different. Uh, you know, what is it? Air, earth, water, all this kind of stuff. <coughs> <coughs> yes, Gold Coast lady, while sitting on a cannon in your underwear. Go sure. <laughs> Um, we, we've been lied to like, no, the, the weirdest thing, like when you look at all these photos at the timeline, the timelines don't sync up a boy and his dog. Yes. Interesting movie. That one. Go check it out. If you haven't seen it, um, home depot materials. Yes. Oh, oh my, oh my God. Where am I? There's so many. Oh my gosh. There is so many comments. <laughs> <laughs> that that's that good theory there, Shari. Yes. Love of time travel. Room recalls she stayed at a French hotel, but it was all in the past. The hotel was empty for a hundred years. Wow, interesting. Yeah, there's some pretty interesting spun out time travel stories. There be gold still in the weeds. Oh, gold everywhere, man. If you find gold, um, you can suddenly buy whatever you want. <clears throat> um, I think they'll be talking about the great blizzard of 2022. Yeah, this is um, obviously you're in the US, are you, Shane? Um, I, hear, I hear it's very cold over there. Um, it has been cold in Australia, but now we've got a bit of sun. Though it's going from like, we had like a 36 degree day, then it went to like 25 and then back up to like 35. Um, so then it's done. Yeah, yeah, well, this as well, and they're doing this at the moment. They're moving around populations at the moment as well. Uh, 100,000 people a day going over the US border into the country um, while they're telling people they need to cull the population, right? So go and, you know, have, have one of those, can I say that word? Um, you know, termination, shall we say? So everything is, they're giving us, oh, what is that? It sounded like your mic fell off, yes. I think it did um do not sit on a cannon without underwear that's that's exactly exactly good advice shari um you said yeah yeah man yeah atlantis yeah um was there a line there i didn't know there was a line there but yeah i remember atlantis um i don't know if it's still there but 
uh, it's probably a housing estate now, but definitely, you know, sort of 10 years ago or so, you could go up and walk around and all the old statues were still there, still out in, in the bush and basically the remnants of the of the park. I mean, that was cool, but it was kind of too far out of the way. You know, there was quite a few of those theme parks in Perth that, um, that just died, right? Because they sort of built them just out of the the um the metro region and of course now that all those areas are just housing so they're like literally part of perth now so it's needed to hang for a few more years um uh it's cut out of maps a few years and some people are like did australia always like this yeah well we don't know but this is the main thing is they don't give us access to the information that's the problem they don't teach us this stuff in school they don't teach us about, you know, really about how Australia, you know, came to be, who built everything. Um, and they definitely don't give us access, even as adults, to the maps, to the history books, to all this info. They just don't let us. It's all locked away. And that's the biggest concern. That's the biggest red flag. That's the biggest, um, you know, um, what's the word? Like the biggest pointer that they are hiding stuff. Right now, is full of army barracks, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, to Garden Island too. Well, Garden Island obviously is still a military base, but yeah, there might be tunnels. Um, I mean, you know, Rottnest did used to be connected to the mainland, and of course it's called Rottnest because when the Dutch turned up, um, they saw all the quokkas and they thought they were giant rats, and so they called it Rat's Nest. Um, and of course, in Dutch, that, that's rot's nest, and so we call it rotten nest island. But they're not rats; they're quokkas, marsupials. Um, everything has gone backwards; it has. But they they want us to think that it's going forwards, right? We've actually been devolution, devolution, de, de evolving. Um, but they want to want us to believe that we're evolving, right? Because we've all got smart TVs now, so we're clearly smart clearly smart um hmm. history is just there to hide stuff um yeah atlantis who knows man i mean and and then and there's the other one that people that think it, it was just a civilization that was everywhere who knows and maybe it was it atlantis was a civilization and there was a a capital city right or whatever called atlantis but there's um been looking into the sea people, the sea confederacy. Um, around sort of 1500 BC, they came from the sea um, and invaded everyone, sounding very much like Asians, bringing in their, their maritime law. You know, so now these Atlanteans, if that's the same people, were they even good? You know, we're told that they're these good people, but we're also told that they blew themselves up, right, because they were playing with stuff they shouldn't be, which is pretty much what's happening at the moment. Right next old prison and tent city is where they buried the convicts. Oh, gosh. Really. Yeah, God, under tent. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it used to be great. There used to be parties and everything there, and now, of course, you can't do anything. Oh, oh chocolate starfish. Oh, my God. <clears throat> All right. Um, I grew up on Ronest. Oh, there you go. There was lots of rubble and a few banning buildings. Well, there you go. That's interesting. So, yeah, there's lots on Ronest. There's definitely the old barracks. And, and I mean, the whole island looks like just a chunk of sandstone. So it's hard to know what's what's real and not real, right? Atlantis, worldwide seafaring canal cities. Yeah. Um, yeah, they came from the, the sea. But then, then we've got, you know, the... The Oralinda book talking about the the Frisians and you know they seem to be a different peoples, but their story is also they came from the sea and they went around and built lots of stuff. It's it's a big big story. I mean, who, and who knows if we'll ever work it out, right? Exactly, we're all dreaming, right? It's, we're all creating this. So that's another question: is, is are we creating history by looking into it? Is that why some people don't see what we see? You know, are we literally creating our reality? Um, yeah, exactly right. It's all buried. Um, and others right in front of your face. And this is what they do. West of Antilles was Atlantis. Well, 
no one really knows where Atlantis was. Everyone has ideas. Um, but until someone shows me a city, you know, that, that's just all it's just all hearsay. And I mean the whole concept of Atlantis is, is hearsay as well, really. It all comes from one book, right? Um, Plato and you know, so it's something this is the thing, they're all you know, could this be a story that's been propagated to make us believe a certain way or a certain thing? You know, everything is up for grabs because everything we've been told, we've been told for a reason. It's a program. And, and uh, uh, you know, as long as we stay in that paradigm and we're like, oh, but I've always believed this, so it's true, and look at this. You know, if, if you don't give yourself the room to have another idea, then you kind of stuck. And that's why I say you should, everything should just be interesting. Was Atlantis there? Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Interesting information, though. But as soon as you say, yes, it definitely was, well, then it can't be anywhere else. So if you're wrong, then you kind of stuck. That's where I see it. Yeah, right, Atlanteans. Well, yeah, the survivors, right? No, that's what Sylvie at New Earth, when the survivors wake up. Um, Plato was CIA. Yeah, man, aluminum, you can confirmed, right? Of course he was CIA. Hello, Rockamuro. How are you going? Thank you for being here. Um, no one's flower. Hello. Set set an set an altar. Hmm. Let's let's not go to one of them. Incredible. After this year, we will be called something by our great grandchildren. Autodidact editions built the pyramids. Yes, indeed. Um, Underhyde Park has seven floors of underground passages. There you go. Wouldn't be surprised. I did a, a video on um, ah, what is it? Not the Vatican. This the, the, the <laughs> can't even remember a building in Rome, but yeah, it, it had like seven or eight levels underground that they knew about. Um, just of this building just going straight into the ground, ridiculous. So it's it's everywhere, and 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 no doubt they're using a lot of this stuff, right? We hear about all these underground tunnels and cities and everything. Um, oh, thank you very much, Isabella. We all have wisdom. Yeah, Bimini Road. Yeah, exactly right. Um, they say there's pyramids down there as well. Um, we don't know. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, that's that's it. You got to do something with your life down here. And and like I was saying before, we may not ever know what the what the truth was, but but by looking at the past, we can learn and we can learn to make better decisions going forwards. Right? We can decide. Oh well, we don't want to do this we don't want any more what war we don't want any more controllers we don't want any more tax you know we can learn this and learn how to do better how to create better in the future which is um you know why i look into past into the past where is jessica hide i don't know where is jessica um all they need to do is put up a fence and military side yeah yeah exactly right and paul cook's been showing this they just put up a bit of barbed wire and say, don't come in. And no one does, except he does. Then, <laughs> And they find out you're doing, they go back and they cement it up. Um, yeah, found dead, right? Founded or found dead. This is the thing. We know them not. They admit there is no law requiring citizens to file tax returns. There's not. There's not at all. There's no laws um, saying that you need a license to drive a car. Uh, well, to drive conveyance. If you start talking about cars and automobiles, they say, well, you're conducting business and you need a license. But for private travel, you don't. Um, and the other thing is it, they can't. It's illegal in pretty much, I think, across all Western cultures. Uh, when you get a fine and they come along and they, and they put more money on top, it's all illegal. They can't do it. They cannot charge you for any of these things. So, and, and, but the thing is, as long as people keep paying it, they're going to keep charging it. Why wouldn't you, right? Um, so it's time for us to all stand up and say no. Yeah. You've got to stop killing each other, man. Stop, stop playing their game. Let's just turn around and play our own game. Um, wind the can around. It would have an opening to a square tunnel. You barely have room. Yeah, those, yeah. Only cannons. Cannons on boats, man. The weight factor is a big thing. 
Um, but I showed some pictures of a boat the other day. Can't remember where it was. And literally, they showed these boats. Maybe I haven't showed it yet. Maybe it's coming up. <laughs> um, and they had all these designs in that, and they showed all the cannons and everything, but there was no room for people. It's like, okay, there's your boat. So where do the people live? No, it's, it's, it's very weird, man. It's just a convoluted story. Oh, nice. Oh, gosh. Be nice to your aunt and uncle, hippie. <laughs> Might get something left in the in the will. Willow basket weaving. Oh, nice. All right. So how are we going here? So, oh, my God, that happened an hour and a half already. All right. So I was just planning on doing a short stream today and just going through those pictures and really giving you the link so you can spend a bit of time going through them yourselves because there's so many pictures in there, like I said. Could spend hours going through them. So thanks for joining me. I'm going to leave it there. An hour and a half. That went very quickly. Um, sorry about the audio issues. That's Twilo now. So um, I shall I, I shall do some work on my home studio and fix that. But um, thank you all for staying around and not leaving when 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 I, I wasn't even talking. How embarrassment. Um, so yeah, we, I'm going to be live um, tomorrow. So come check it out. Um, um, I won't announce who's coming on, but the special guests. Uh, it will be very, very cool. You will you will like it. So it's going to be Perth time tomorrow afternoon, probably, you know, four o'clock-ish, which is, um, I think, around late morning in the UK and early morning in the USA. So... Yes, come and check it out. I'll, I'll um, get the link for that up today at some point, and we will rock in the new year. And then it's going to be 2023, and um, yeah, time to start creating something different, right? Something better. I'm, I'm over this whole clown world thing. Um, I think it's time to get out. You know, get out of the cities, get out of the 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 systems mindset, and start um, building. Right, what we've been talking about for years. Start building these these communities we want to build. Start building the, the businesses that we, we want. Start building, you know, things so we have the resources we need. All this kind of stuff. Um, and of course, I'm 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 moving to a farm. I'm going out to the country, so I will be starting that. I've got big plans, and I hope you do have too. So, thanks for spending some time with me, guys. I do appreciate you all. Have an amazing day, and I'll talk to you all. On the next upload, bye for now. It's time to kick it old school.